a little tough for me to admit that I will be 34 next month and I still don't know what the hell I'm doing with life right now. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to come on here and, and have a bit of a transparent talk with you guys. Um, I don't know, just lately I've been feeling kind of like, what am I doing? You know, like, what am I doing with life right now? I feel like one day I was 17 and graduating high school and boom I was 18 and enjoying college and then I was 21 and a mom and just doing all this stuff on my own and next month I will be 34 and I'm like what the hell just happened like for real it feels like these years have just gone by so quickly and I can remember being told, oh, you have all the time in the world to worry about that and to get this done and to do this and that. And then to see how these years have just flown by, it's like, okay, well, that was a lie. <laughs> I mean, that's just how I feel. And I just feel like I'm so alone with how I feel in that way, even though I know there's got to be more people out there who feel the way that I do. It's like, I want to be hard on myself. But at the same time, it's like I want to give myself some grace knowing the things that I've been through in my life. But um, 34, that's six years away from 40. And, you know, I don't have retirement figured out. And that's kind of scary to me because once you hit your 40s, that's like, well, 35-ish, 40, that's middle age these days. Most people are only living to 70, going up towards 80 if, you know, you're in great health. But yeah, I feel like I'm constantly caught in between that. I still have so much time to do so many things and I'm running out of time. And it's just not a good feeling. It's really not. But then I also think about how it could be so much worse because sometimes it's easy to look at other people's lives and compare your life to it and immediately feel sad or not envious because I don't feel jealous or envious of people who are living their lives to the fullest. I just think to myself, well, what am, like, what am I doing? Like, I don't know. It's kind of like, I wish that when I was much younger that I took advantage of the opportunities that were given to me. And I just feel like I didn't, I didn't, think things through. I was being given bad advice when I was younger and I followed that bad advice. Um, the you're young, have fun, you know, live it up to the point that I did just that. You know, I didn't take college as seriously as I should have. I didn't do what I should have done with it. I skipped class sometimes to go on shopping sprees with my friends, went out to eat all the time. Um, I just wish I had taken it more seriously. And then I'm like, 18, 19 years old, trying to be the best house girlfriend I can be, someone who clearly didn't deserve it, and ended up becoming a single mom at 20, 21. And that put a lot of strain on my life as well. I have no regrets though, because I do, I love my daughter. She's literally the best. But there are a lot of things that I do wish that I had done differently that may have resulted in my life being a little bit different than what it is right now. But again, like I say, I try so hard not to be negative about it because there are a lot of people who are doing a lot worse than me, just like there are a lot of people who are doing a lot better than me. I'm learning to have gratitude for the things that I do have and where I am at, and that has helped a whole lot with me meditating and manifesting things and just setting some goals and kind of trying to guide my life to where I want it to go. Because the fact of the matter is, as long as you're alive, it truly is never too late for anything, honestly. Um, 
and I'm learning one of the quickest ways to be sad or depressed about your life is to look at someone else's life and compare it to yours. And I do have those moments where I'm like, look at all these social media influencers that are so young. I mean, so young and they're traveling the world and it just looks like they're living this lavish, glorious life. And I don't look at them and say, oh, look at their life. I look at me and say, what the hell are you doing, girl? Okay, so I feel like I need to say something. I feel like I'm leaving out a really key detail about my life. So in 2018, I did get diagnosed with a very serious illness and it has really kind of redirected my life and, you know, kind of put a pin in my goals and the things that I was doing in life at that time because I had to kind of slow down and take care of my health. Um, when I got sick, I was in the best shape of my life. So being diagnosed with an illness that you're told there's no cure for this really did put me in a huge depression and kind of sped time up for me because where the average person has so many hours in their day to get things done and to set some goals and crush them, I feel like time sped up for me because I'm not in control of how much time that I have in a day because my energy levels can decide to drop. My level of fatigue can go up. I could be, you know, hurt to the point that I have to just go on bed rest for the rest of the day. It's, it's a lot that I really don't want to get into right now, but that has really caused a lot of me feeling this way. So I don't want it to seem like I'm not taking accountability for my life or anything. I've started businesses that I've had to put on hold and everything because I just can't give my all to it because of how my health is. So that is most of the reason that I feel the way that I feel. So I'm not trying to just be negative and be like, oh, life happened to me and I'm not doing anything about it. So, yeah. And like I say, it's it's like one moment I was 17 and then now I'm 33. And it's like, I don't really know what happened to all that time in between. So much happened. But at the same time, it's like it went by so fast. It went by so fast. And Sometimes I feel like I'm alone with how I feel and that can really kind of mess with my mind a little bit too because it's like, I don't know if people are just really good at hiding things um, because I get like that sometimes too. It's like where I kind of put on a brave face or a happy face for the people around me and kind of like hold everything in. But at the same time, my mind is literally exploding with the idea that I'm halfway through my life and I haven't done half the things that I said I was gonna do when I was younger. I haven't achieved half the goals that I said that I was gonna achieve. I did achieve some of them. So, you know, kudos to myself for that because um, it was a lot of hard work that went into it. But at the same time, it's like, it's not exactly what I wanted. So what do I do from here? That is the question. Life is full of so much uncertainty, but one thing we know for sure is that we all will cease to exist one day. So in knowing that, we just have to do the very best that we can with what we have. So since thinking and overthinking about all this sometimes caused me to feel depressed, I decided to change my way of thinking. No, I may not be able to travel the world the way I want to just yet, but what I can do is get outdoors and enjoy outside for what it is around me. I'm really big on nature. I love nature and I can just go out and enjoy the scenery that's around where I live, find the beauty in the nature that's around me. And that has done wonders for my mental. It really has. I don't know. Um, well, I'm not that much of an outdoorsy person. I'm more of an introvert, more of an indoor type of person. But I notice that when I do go outside, rain or shine, because I love rainy days just as much as sunny days. I didn't love sunny days before, but I do now. Because <laughs> I'm trying to kind of change my way of thinking and look at the bright side of things. And just going outside and actually paying attention to what's going on out there, listening to the birds chirp, listening to children laugh, 
and the wind blowing through the trees and feeling the sun on my skin like that is that's major because there's some people who aren't alive to feel that anymore and there's some people who can't get up and walk outside and feel that so that's one of the things I decided to do to help change my way of thinking and not be so hard on myself. Another thing I like to do is look at videos online. There's so many people who upload videos like on TikTok, YouTube, whatever, like if they're touring another country or if they're going on a run somewhere or just looking at pictures of another country, pictures and videos of another country and just like focusing my mind on that. Like, okay, one day I want to go here and I can see myself there. And that's kind of helping me to manifest that one day. So I meditate and try to manifest it. And I feel like the more you do that, you're kind of exercising your mind and you're kind of setting your life up to go in that direction if you just stay positive about it. So that's another thing that I've done to kind of help me get out of that mental rut of feeling like, what the hell am I doing in my life? and how can I get my life to go the way I want it to. So another thing is I also decided to journal and meditate. So I meditate um, with a water fountain. I like to listen to the sound of water. Either I use a water fountain that I have and put on my desk or I listen to a YouTube video of like, like water and music, mostly water. There's something about the sound of um, rushing water or water trickling from a fountain that just is really soothing to my mind so I use that to help meditate and I do dream journaling gratitude journaling um, I have I'll actually show you hold on okay so here's one of the journals that I use it's a 52 week mental health journal I actually got this journal a couple years ago no I'm lying I got this at the beginning of 2022 I remember now so it's full of 52 weeks of questions and just it's kind of like a guide to kind of help your mental health I ended up not doing this every day because life be life in <laughs> so I just decided to do it you know whenever I feel the need to journal so I don't do this one every day, but I do it as often as I can. And I'll just go in and I'll answer one of the questions and just fill it out and sit and think about it. And then I move on to my next journal. My next journal is the 369 method. This is a guided manifestation journal. If you don't know what the 369 method is, I can show you. What this journal looks like so inside there is a section for three six and nine so what you do is you think of something you want to manifest and in the morning you write it three times in the afternoon you write it six times in the evening you write it nine times and then they have like what actions are you taking today it's a to-do list so kind of what are you doing to help yourself kind of manifest those goals and I mean this book is full of those pages so you can just write down some of the things that you want to manifest in your life and literally meditate on it and work towards achieving those things you want to manifest on the side it says I am attracting so yeah that's another one of the journals I like to do this one this is one of my favorites this one is just full of poetry and it's poetry based on my life and some of the life experiences that I've had um, as you can see, it's one of those little Mandela where you just color it. Some of the pages are full of those little designs too. So coloring this kind of helps, you know, helps me center my mind as well. Also, have some, I have some poems in the front of here. I mean, poetry doesn't have to be your thing. You can literally just write whatever you want in here. Um, it could be like a diary, you know, or a journal, <laughs> just whatever you're feeling, you could write it down in there. But some of my deepest, most inner feelings are in this book right here. And then I also have just a couple composition books and I use these as journals. 
like whenever I'm going through something or I'm feeling something, I feel like people don't understand me or won't understand me. I just write it down. I write it down and then I leave it. And then I go back and read it later on whenever I feel the need to read it to see, okay, have I, have things gotten better? What can I do to kind of help get them better? If they're not better, I just clear my mind in these composition books. That's what I do. I also have a Chromebook. So I open up a notepad and as you can see, there's some things that I've typed in here. I also love to type just as much as I love to write. So I just type how I feel sometimes too. And it helps. But like I say, I am grateful for where I am because things could be so much worse. They really can be. But if you are feeling the way that I feel, I do suggest meditation journaling and looking into manifestation we just have to focus our energy on the positive things so that we can continue to guide our lives to where we want it to be so um i'm sorry if i rambled through this video but i like i say i just really wanted to put that out there in case there's anyone who's feeling the way that i feel and kind of feeling like a little hopeless you're not alone and it's also not over okay it's not over till it's over so hopefully that kind of gives you the little push that you need to kind of keep going and keep pushing and yes it's hard but fight for it that's kind of where I'm at now I'm gonna fight for it and hopefully you will too so that's really all I have. Um, this is so random. Like I say, I still haven't found exactly what I want to do with my channel just yet, but that's a little chit chat. Just a little something that's been on my mind and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think, if you have been feeling the same way that I feel. Um, there's hope there's hope for us so yeah that's all i got guys and i will see you in my next video bye